Welcome to Inside Elka. My name is Michelle Amara. Eagles Landing Christian Academy is one of South Atlanta's largest and finest Christian private schools. SCBTV is so excited to share with our community about their academic programs, fine arts, and athletics. So you guys stay tuned and we'll be right back with Inside Elka. Summertime means termite time at Active Pest Control. The Active Termite Baiting System eliminates entire colonies of termites around your home. The Active Pest Control guarantee is the best in the business and includes a liquid barrier treatment, repair warranty, and no deductibles for termite damage claims. For all your pest and mosquito control needs, call for a free inspection today. Where relationships matter, people act with Active Pest Control. Hello, my name is Linda Clark. I'm with CNC Fence. We are a family owned and operated business that has been in business since 1983. We do residential and commercial fence, all types, in the metro Atlanta area. We also do temporary construction fence for construction sites. Hi, my name is Jennifer with Lady Fencer. I sell fence material to the public for do-it-yourself. Come see me today. Come see us at CNC Fence. We have a showroom that you can look at and we do free estimates. For 50 years, FNF Floor Covering and Carpet has been serving the South Metro area with quality, affordable carpet, tile, hardwood, and vinyl. Reduce your energy bills with the natural insulation and comfort of carpet with many styles to choose from and the best stain-fighting technology in the industry. Hardwood is moving more toward distressed planks and planks in wider widths. Luxury vinyl tile provides the same look but is child-proof and pet-friendly. Check out the many looks, designs, and styles at our showroom, FNF Floor Covering and Carpet in McDonough. For over 50 years, we've been here to serve you. And welcome back to Inside Eagles Landing Christian Academy. And as promised, we are here with some of the leaders here at the school. And I have with me Chuck Gillum, who is the head of schools. Good morning, Chuck. How morning. are you doing? Welcome. Thank you so much. You guys have a great facility here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Well, we, um, we're, we're pleased to be here. We're pleased, thankful that y'all are here with us and uh, glad to have you on the campus. Well, we, we definitely appreciate it out here too. So if we could, let's kind of just start with some general information about ELKA. Um, let the audience know the type of school that you guys are. Well, a lot of times people don't know that we've actually been in this community for over 40 years. Oh, wow. You know, I didn't they, know that. <laughs> they ride down 42 and they think Eagles Landing First Baptist Church, but mm -hmm. they don't recognize that there's also a school that's mm -hmm. here. And we have ministered in the community for a very long time. And, and during that time, there have been several school names, but we've been Eagles Landing Christian Academy since 1994. And, wow. Um, as you know, from a standpoint of who we are, you know, we, we see ourselves as a Christian private school. So uh, we service hundreds of students, um, over 700 families are wow. involved in our ministry here. Um, but really the mission of our school is Christian education. Mm -hmm. And in, in saying the mission is the Christian education, share a little bit about what your beliefs are as the school and what you guys try to impart into the students. Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, we are a ministry of Eagles Landing First Baptist Church. so. Um, However, we do see students that come from many different denominational mm -hmm. backgrounds. They're not just all Baptist. Mm -hmm. But from our standpoint, the way we operate is through what we call kingdom education. Okay. And what that means for us is that we see every content area as an opportunity to teach our students about who Jesus Christ mm -hmm. is. So if a student's taking an English class or a math class or history, whatever the case may be, we want them to get the content, we mm -hmm. want them to understand all of those things, but we also want them to see that through the lens of God's Word. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty critical for us from a missional standpoint, first of all, to come alongside parents and to help them in the process of raising children, which we all know is right. a challenging <laughs> process, but also to help them understand what it means to see Jesus Christ in every form of their mm -hmm. curriculum. Because what we want to produce is students who go out and are great Christian thinkers. Uh, many of our students go off to public colleges, universities, and mm -hmm. so we want them to be prepared to understand what it is that they believe as they go out into those next levels. So it's very important for us, starting in our pre-K program mm -hmm. all the way through 12th grade, to be very intentional in the idea of Christian education. But with that said, sometimes people think, all right, just because you're Christian, that means that you're not a strong academic school, and that's not the case. Um, if you look at our SAT scores, and we'll talk more about those later, mm -hmm. um, our ACT scores, all of our testing, as well as where our students go to college and the money they receive um, 
in tuition assistance and in scholarships, you'll find that our students are very successful at that next level. So we believe that you can be very Christian in the way that you go about education, mm -hmm. but be excellent in the academic product that you produce. That's awesome. And, and you definitely hit on a good thing because you are starting from the younger kids to SAT scores. Now you guys have kids from pre-K all the way up to 12th yeah. grade, is that correct? Yeah, and it's neat each year when we have graduation, we'll ask the students to stand who have been here since <laughs> K-5. Yep. And a large percentage of our students have been a part of the Elka family for 12, 13 years. Mm -hmm. And so that's a unique opportunity for families to be able to be a part of a, a family, the same family, starting as a three-year-old yep. up through being a senior. And, and that's why it's so critical for us, and we spend a lot of time making sure our curriculum is aligned and, we'll, mm -hmm. and uh, making it sure it's vertically aligned so that we're preparing them at each level um, to take on the next challenges of going to college, going to universities. Yep, you're actually teaching them to be the light of the world, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I know, and, and just to give a personal testimony, my daughter actually goes here. She's been here since first grade, and I'm telling you, just in the curriculum, I've, I've kind of shared off air, but just in her social studies books, the way things are mm -hmm. worded, mm -hmm. um, the, the way that she is learning things, it's teaching her the history of how we got here, but it's also teaching her Jesus right. in, as well. So it's, it's great the way you guys have that laid out. I think parents just have to, to think about that. You know, we often just think about content, make sure they have mm -hmm. the facts. Mm -hmm. But for us, we think there's a huge difference between knowledge and wisdom. Knowledge is knowing the facts. Wisdom is knowing what God sees mm -hmm. or how he views those facts. And so from our standpoint, it's pretty critical that students leave here, not just with the knowledge, but the wisdom to be discerning, you know, right. to go out and to be able to discern. As scripture says, all the the subtle idols of this world mm -hmm. so that they know uh, the difference between not only what's right and wrong, but what's the difference between good and what's best for right. their lives. That's amazing. So tell me a little bit about, you mentioned the teachers. What kind of impact do they have on the students and how are the relationships with the, with the teachers and students? Well, um, you know, we have nearly 160 staff members right. here from pre-K through 12. And so it's very important that all of our staff members are missionally aligned mm -hmm. so that regardless of who's in front of your child in our school, whether it's a coach on the football field or it's in a math classroom, mm -hmm. we want to be speaking the same language. Right. And so from our standpoint, we're very careful mm -hmm. in who is allowed to be a part of our staff. Mm -hmm. They need to align with who we are missionally. Right. Um, and also they need to be um, sharing the same ideas in regards to kingdom mm -hmm. education. We may not agree on every little <laughs> detail of doctrine, right. but we do agree on we're here for Christian education. We're right. here to influence the next generation for Jesus Christ. So that's very, very important to us mm -hmm. when we hire a new staff member. And, and also as we develop our new staff members mm -hmm. in the way that we train them and prepare them to be in front of the children. It's amazing. I know another personal testimony too is with my daughter. Um, her teacher literally ha had spoken to me about how can we help her on the academic and how can we help her spiritually? Like, what yeah. can we do? How can I? Yeah. Pray? How, can you, how can you pray for? Her? You know, but also, what does she need to, to study a little bit more in math? So right. it's it's great to be able to send your child to a place that's safe, yeah. that you know they're going to have the well the well being is going to be looked after, yeah. and that the teacher has the best in mind for them. And, you know, I think that when we look at research, oftentimes the reason why parents choose schools is mm -hmm. because of security, safety, mm -hmm. and we're thankful that God has blessed us with a very safe campus. I think our, our students feel secure here, mm -hmm. um, but also parents feel secure in the sense that um, their students are hearing God's Word, yep. and um, each and every day they're hearing a consistent message that we feel like, you know, the Bible says, train them up, raise them up in the nurture and the admonition yep. of the Lord. And so that's what we're trying to do. I know you guys also create a very family atmosphere here and Absolutely. you do a lot of um, extracurricular activities with the families. Yeah. So do you wanna let the audience at home know a little bit about those? Well, yeah, we have a lot of big events. Mm -hmm. um, we do a lot of all school events because we wanna try to bring maybe a back to school day, mm -hmm. homecoming, yep. um, our state of school. We wanna bring all the Elka family together so that Really, it's an, it's an opportunity for all of our families to see the product from start to finish. If you have right. a three-year-old, what does it look like <laughs> to be a senior yep. and, and vice versa? But the, 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 the issue there, the, the whole thing for us, and we address it as we are the Elka family. Mm -hmm. we, want, we want them to have that sense of when you come on campus, you feel an atmosphere that you feel welcome in, that our students feel at home in, mm -hmm. um, and that they can be in for you know, 13 years of their yeah. life if they so choose to be a part of that community 
uh, K3 through 12th grade. Awesome. So I know next we're going to have uh, uh, Miss Cindy George, who uh, is the Dean of Academics here. So before we switch over to her, is there anything in closing, you know, just general information, experience as a parent or as a staff of Eagles Landing Christian Academy? I think I would just encourage families to consider Christian education. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, the first hesitation is financial or is this a good fit for right. us? But it's just worth it to take a look at it, mm -hmm. to, to go and take a tour of a place like Eagles Landing Christian Academy, yep. see what all is being offered, see that from a standpoint of finances, it might not be as bad as you think, mm -hmm. or we might be able to help in certain ways through financial aid and, and, and those types of areas. But we would just encourage all families to consider Christian education, okay. uh, consider being a part of it. All right, well, thank you so much, Mr. Absolutely. Gillen. And you guys stay tuned. We'll be right back with Cindy George. You may not remember your first big wheel. You may not remember your first big fall. But what you do remember are the people who care for you, the people who care about what happens to you. Dr. Fias understands how important your vision is. From youth to adult, Fias Family Vision is here to handle all of your eye care needs. From glasses to contacts, from eye injuries to glaucoma, Fias Family Vision specializes in the complete wellness and health of your eyes. So remember, for all of your eye care needs, Dr. Fias and his staff are here for you, day or night. On call, for your call. When it comes to your vision, see Fias Family Vision. Choosing the right bank can be tricky. Should you go with a large bank, a small bank, or maybe somewhere in between? Sure, any of these choices can keep your money safe, but what do they actually do with the money you deposit? Larger corporate banks often use your money to finance projects in other cities or states, even other countries. But community banks keep your money local, investing it in projects that help your friends, neighbors, and small businesses nearby. It's simple. Investing in a community bank means investing in the community where you live and work. And Heritage Bank is the best choice for community banking in Henry, Clayton, and Fayette counties. When you bank with Heritage, your funds support local businesses and families that you know and trust. As the only community bank covering the Tri-County area, we work hard to build long-term, local relationships. Our lending decisions are made locally by folks who know the area. We're dedicated to helping our customers save money, and we're proud to invest in you. So bank locally with Heritage and support your community. Your neighbors and your wallet will thank you. Stop by your local Heritage Bank branch, visit our website, or give us a call to get started today. And welcome back to Inside Elka. As promised, we are here with Cindy George, mm -hmm. who is the Dean of Academics. How are you doing yes, today? Doing very well, thank you. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. Great. So the Dean of Academics. That sounds like you, you have a lot. That's a lot going yes, on. Yes, ma'am. So we have me. a lot going on here at Eagles Lane <laughs> Christian Academy. Okay, so tell me a little bit about what the Dean of Academics does. Well, my job is primarily uh, to oversee K-12 curriculum instruction here at the school. Okay. Uh, working with teachers to ensure that our curriculum is being implemented, mm -hmm. that we have the professional training that we need, and that we have a strong curricular program to offer to our students. So how do you go about building that curriculum? Well, um, first we came together and we all uh, got together as teachers, K-12, and mm -hmm. that's the beauty of being in one building because <laughs> you can have all of your teachers kindergarten all the way up through 12th grade together to mm -hmm. discuss various issues. But we all sat down and we talked about what did we want an Elka graduate to be able to do. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of began with the end in mind and then we talked about the fact that our ultimate goal of course at, at Eagles Landing Christian Academy is to equip our students spiritually and academically mm -hmm. to be prepared for whatever God calls them to do once they graduate right. from high school. And we feel like that in order for our students to be competitive at the collegiate level, then we really had to look at the rigor of our academic program. So we started off expanding our advanced placement program because we know that students who take advanced placement courses have a greater chance of being successful at the college level. Okay. And then we wanted to make sure that once we did that, that we had specific things in place at the middle school and the elementary school to support a rigorous program at the high school. And I actually, I want to stop there and kind of get into a little bit more detail about it because 
at most places you start with your child learning kind of the basics and then they grow into but here at Elka you guys do it a little different you kind of start with the curriculum the way they finish at the junior and senior level of high school and you work your curriculum back to make That's sure correct. and that is, that is amazing so tell me a little bit about how you guys came up with that you know? yeah it's really based upon a backward uh, design model mm -hmm. and so we we need to look at specifically what we want our students to be able to do mm -hmm. and in looking at our advanced placement program uh, we really took some time in examining different courses that we could offer mm -hmm. and we ended up uh, offering about now we offer about 16 advanced placement courses wow. and then we made sure that at the middle school we have various honors courses that support and kind of nurture that level of rigor for our students right. and then at the elementary school we wanted to do that at the upper elementary grades by mm -hmm. doing math ability grouping right. uh, offering more advanced uh, a more advanced curriculum at that upper grade level and that's really great because it sounds like what you guys are doing is um, you're kind of building the advanced play placement capabilities in a child early on. That's correct. Instead of later. And I want to mention something as well. You and Mr. Gillen both talked about the academic and the spiritual um, or the, the faith base that you guys are building mm -hmm. into these children. And that's amazing because it's more than just teaching them school and right. teaching them math. You guys are kind of teaching them how to be whole people. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So really, our curriculum, um, you know, is, is a, very much aligned K-12, okay. and it's aligned uh, to the Georgia Standards of Excellence. But really where we're different and what sets us apart is that we teach our curriculum through a biblical worldview emphasis, mm -hmm. through a biblical lens. Mm -hmm. So we may, may be teaching a piece of literature, but we back that up with what God's truth yeah. says about that conflict or about that um, antagonist or whatever right. the case may be so that our students know by the time they graduate uh, why they believe what they believe mm -hmm. and that more, most importantly they've got to be able to clearly articulate that right. so we've got to make sure that we have uh, very high critical thinking skills embedded throughout our entire curriculum and you know in doing that and just thinking whenever you're showing the child the the way of Christ in the history in the math that they're learning you're actually teaching them how to apply those Christ-like principles in yes. everyday life in yes. whatever it is that they're doing so that's amazing okay so tell me a little bit about the school improvement plan that you guys have come up with here well um, in looking at a k-12 education um, that school improvement plan is a catalyst mm -hmm. because it um, kind of guides everything that we're trying to do K-12. Okay. So we needed to make sure that our school improvement plan was a, a well thought out plan mm -hmm. of how we're going to get there. You know, we, we have to have some end in mind in order to be able to know where we want to go. So we sat down as a faculty and we developed um, a comprehensive school improvement plan mm -hmm. that aligned all academic areas, uh, awesome. English language arts, math, science, social studies, and foreign language. And our teachers work diligently to ensure that whatever we're teaching at first grade, we know support second grade. That's awesome. We know fifth grade mm -hmm. supporting sixth grade and, and own up the chain all mm -hmm. the way to the 12th grade. Awesome. I know that also too, the, the school improvement plan is not just for the staff, but it's built into the curriculum and also put in with the children as yes. well. Okay. Yes. Um, <clears throat> for instance, we had to make sure that our school improvement plan is embedded with professional learning for our staff right. um, because we have to try different strategies to mm -hmm. make sure that we're meeting the needs of all learners. Mm -hmm. Not every student is going to be an advanced placement student, mm -hmm. but every student can learn and they can learn at a high level. Wow. Mm -hmm. So we needed to make sure that our staff is well equipped to meet the needs of the variety of learning that we have going on in our building. Mm -hmm. So through that, uh, we have implemented a professional learning plan with uh, strategies such as differentiating thinking, mm -hmm. uh, depth of knowledge, wow. and the types of questioning we ask, the levels of questioning we ask, mm -hmm. and that's pretty, been a pretty intensive program. Right, Elka, Elka definitely has a strong academic base. Uh, Mr. Gillum has shared a little bit about the, the history of it and a little bit about what Elka is and their beliefs. Mm -hmm. You've got a strong academic program and curriculum, it sounds like. I know the next segment we're going to have both of you guys on, but before we switch over to that, academically, is there something that you would like to share with the audience specifically? Well, I, I would just say that I'm very excited about everything that we have going on academically. Mm -hmm. We feel like our students are well equipped uh, to go to any college or university in this country. Um, they're well equipped academically mm -hmm. as well as spiritually that we've already mentioned, mm -hmm. which is uh, huge. And I would just encourage uh, anyone listening today to look at kingdom education for your child. Um, I know being in public education for 33 years, 
I was very unaware of kingdom education. Mm -hmm. So it has been a real enlightening experience for me <laughs> uh, to learn to how to deliver instruction through the lens of God. Wow. And um, I would just say, you know, for me, I just wish I could have a redo with my children. <laughs> um, but I would strongly, strongly encourage this type of education. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Miss George. Thank you. And you guys stay tuned. We'll be right back with Mr. Gillen and Miss George. Your dealership service department not answering or tired of long lines? Introducing the DSA app for your smart device, the quick and easy way to get your car serviced. Just log on and list your needed service, then drop off your car. Plus, you can check your car's progress and history records. The DSA app is available on Google Play and in the App Store. DSA, a new paradigm in customer service. Now available at Legacy Ford of McDonough, Legacy Hyundai of McDonough, and other participating dealerships. I'm glad my service advisor is now digital. No line, no wait. Thanks, DSA. Well, that about does it, Ms. Tanner. I got your gas heat service all hooked up and she's ready to go. Good. They say it's going to get cold tonight. Now, all you have to do to turn it on is push this button right here. Is that gas I smell? Would you let your yard man install your heating and air conditioning? If so, we're not for you. So give us a call today at Mike Vining Heating and Air Conditioning and let us install a comfort system that will save you money. My dad opened his company in 1979, so we truly are a family owned and operated business. We install major brands such as Rheem, Goodman, Amana, and American Standard. We also service any brand out there. Our skilled technicians and competitive prices will ease your mind and save you money. We look forward to the opportunity to be of service to you and your family. I knew I should have called Mike Vining. The weather is getting cooler, the leaves are changing color, and the pumpkins are ready for picking. So come on to Yule Forest Pumpkin Patch, where the pumpkins are ready for harvest. Take a trip around the farm on our hayride. Stop at the petting zoo and play in the fun zone. We have reptile exhibits, puppet shows, and our newest attraction, the Bee House. For you older kids, our weekend nighttime haunted house and zombie paintball hayride will get you in the Halloween spirit. So come to the heart of Henry County on Highway 155 near Stockbridge. The Pumpkin Patch at Yule Forest, Highway 155. Welcome back. I have had such a great time today learning more about Elka Eagles Landing Christian Academy right here in Henry County. I mean, I am just amazed by all the planning and detail that, that there is that this school puts mm -hmm. into not only the curriculum, but teaching the children the beliefs of Christian education as well along the way. Absolutely. So, yeah, so tell me a little bit about, I know both of you guys have mentioned what an ELCA student would do or what that ELCA student would look like leaving. Tell me a little bit about the SAT store, scores or statistics that you guys might have on the graduates. Well, I know we've talked about our school improvement plan and, and how we want to make sure that we have a well-rounded curriculum for our students. Mm -hmm. Um, I think most importantly, you know, we teach our students and our faculty that our focus is on Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And if we commit our plans to Him, then we're going to be rewarded greatly. Mm -hmm. And uh, God certainly has done that for us academically. Mm -hmm. um, our, this past year, our AP scores, uh, that being those that have a three or higher pass rate mm -hmm. for college credit, uh, we actually ended up being higher, our average was higher than the county and higher than the state, so mm -hmm. we were very proud of that. 45% um, of our students participate in the Advanced Placement wow. Program, which is phenomenal yes. for a school our size. And uh, through the exams that we just administered, we produced 21 AP scholars. Wow. And we, uh, even better, we have about 10% of our graduating class this year that will enter college beyond the freshman level status due oh, to wow. their advanced placement credits. That is amazing and you know why that is is because you guys are building that advanced placement at the early age. Absolutely. Doing that, that backwards <coughs> to curriculum planning is right. really showing through at off. the end when the kids are graduating so that's amazing. 
And you know, I thought a couple times, I was like, I wonder who we can get to kind of host this show. But as a parent, I thought it would be a great idea just to kind of input little things and just talking about the students going to school. There's a hallway here that you walk down. It's actually on the way to the cafeteria and it's got the placards of the colleges that all the students have gone to mm -hmm. when they've left Elka. So as my daughter, who is a fifth grader, it's such an inspiration just to see that because she's growing up and, and going over to middle school and high school thinking in her mind she's going to college and she's going to pick one right. of those or maybe put a new one up there. So that's inspiring her yeah. as well. And that was really our sole purpose in mm -hmm. doing that. It was know, great. Because yeah. we wanted in front of our students, you know, they're capable of going anywhere and doing anything in this world <laughs> and following the plan that God has for them. So you guys definitely have a strong academic program. Let's talk about the fun things that you guys do. I know there's mental math and math Olympics and art festivals. So Mr. Gillum, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I think what we're looking for is a, a wide range mm -hmm. of activities for our students. So whether it's academics and one thing it's, it's interesting, it's good to point out is that we work with a wide range of students. Mm -hmm. So we have right. students here who have uh, diagnosed learning differences that mm -hmm. are struggling. Uh, we have an extensive student support service program mm -hmm. here where we are working with probably over 150 students wow. that struggle. So you have both ends of the spectrum. You have AP honors level courses, right. you have your college prep curriculum, but you also have a lot of programs here to support students who just need, need additional assistance mm -hmm. to be successful in a college prep environment. Mm -hmm. But in, in addition to that, we have our honors program in elementary, our Excel program. Mm -hmm. We have our club programs that are really K to 12. Um, we have, a, um, I think, probably the strongest and best fine arts program on the south side of Atlanta. Absolutely. Um, and yeah, we've been way. here a couple times too. We've taped yeah. some of your shows and your musical. I think Oliver was the last one that yes. you guys did. We actually came yes. in and got some of that. And we kind of like uh, supporting what we call an and philosophy, mm -hmm. meaning that uh, we have a strong spiritual foundation for our students mm -hmm. and an excellent athletic program mm -hmm. and an excellent fine arts program and an excellent academic program. Awesome. So mm -hmm. we offer it all for our students. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important what Mr. Gillum just said is that there is a variety of learners in our building and like I said earlier not everyone is going to be an advanced placement mm -hmm. student so we have embedded uh, intervention plans in place for our students through in-house tutoring during the school day uh, students have an opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with teachers which really creates more of a personalized learning approach for our students definitely and it gives them that extra support that that they may need where Absolutely. others may not mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so just kind of in closing, just wrapping this episode up, I'm, first of all, I've been very excited to come out and just let the community know a little bit more about Elka. I love Elka. You guys have a strong financial, um, not financial, a strong academic um, system here, curriculum, staff. You guys are really building up strong people that are whole people, not just academically, but in their beliefs and their faith right. as well. Um, so in closing, you know, why Elka? You know, and can, as a parent that might be watching, could my child go to Elka? Mm. Well, I think the, the way I would answer that question is statistically what we're seeing is that when students leave um, and go off to colleges and universities, many of them are leaving their belief systems. They are, they're not following in the things that they have been taught at home or maybe in church. And we feel like that's because more and more students need to be involved in Christian education. Mm -hmm. And so I think the one thing I would say to families is consider Christian education. Um, consider looking at not just private education but a Christian Bible based education and then past that do your research look into it sometimes it's automatically people say it's just not a, it's not possible for us mm -hmm. but once you look at it and see what's available come to a place like Eagles Landing Christian Academy take a tour mm -hmm. uh, see what programs we offer you may find that it's just absolutely worth we feel like it's absolutely worth the investment because sure. of all that you get and there's also just programs there that will help people who may feel like financially they can't do it. There are programs available that our admissions office can talk people through, uh, whether they be Georgia Goal or Senate Bill 10 or our Families Helping Families program. There are things that are available, um, but what you get um, and what it, the investment that you're making in your child, we truly believe it's gonna pay off, not only in where they go to school, but what they believe when they're at that school. Well, That's it's critical, so consider it. And our um, high school college counselor really works with students in looking for scholarships beyond high school. Wow. And over the past three years, our students have received over $27.1 million in scholarships. Oh my gosh, $27.1 million. And your staff has kind of been there helping the children Absolutely. and guiding them in that direction as well. Absolutely. Well, thank you again, you guys, for coming yeah. on. And um, for you guys at home, this is not going to be the only Inside Elka show. There will be another one. Next time, we're going to be hitting on athletics and, and um, fine arts. So you guys stay tuned for that. In closing, anything else you guys want to put out there? 
Come on to Elko. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for being We'd here. We'd love to have a tour. Take, take them on a tour and uh, <laughs> walk around the campus. So. All right, thank you thank so much, you. guys. Have a Appreciate great day. Appreciate you being here. And you guys, thank you for tuning in to SCV TV, Channel 182.